Welcome back to Hickory Flat Farms. Got some stop motion video today. We're building a turkey roost. It's a turkey house, really. It's going to have wire on the outside, and we've got quite a bit of uh, challenge ahead of us to get it all done. So my uh, my family pitched in. I've got Richard Tucker there with me. Uh, he and his wife Michelle came up, and they helped us out with some farming chores for about a week. They just went home. I figured I would share the video and make Richard YouTube famous. Of course, we're not exactly famous on this channel, but that's okay. We've got stuff that we share with other family members, and we're famous amongst us, so super famous. And the barn had quite a bit of free wood just kind of in there. So there were true two by sixes that were up in the rafters. So we took down a total of five of those and cut them up into four uh, little over an inch wide boards and we made a pretty decent structure out of them. We ran them across the table saw and cut them up and of course we had to pull out nails and that and uh, got it done. There was a table saw that was already here on the property when I moved in I found in the machine shed. The wood was already there so all I really ended up spending money on some screws and uh, those were left over from when we built the doghouse. So. Uh, not a lot of expenditure on this. The wire was the most costly thing for this, and it was one roll of wire for about 38 bucks tractor supply. So uh, got that and put it all together. We had uh, a pretty good experience. It was fun, and we were able to uh, add some really nice roosts and some security factors on the outside. We put in some knobs and things as far as for insulators on the outside to keep some electrics going all the way around the outside to try to protect the baby turkeys because we've got, uh, well, I guess 10 turkey pullets that uh, we needed to put in there. They were in a, a smaller uh, cage there and they needed to get out and get into a bigger space, have a better quality of life. But they're going to be pasture raised turkeys. We're going to have some for family and we're going to uh, promote those and maybe have somebody they want purchase one because pasture-raised turkeys are supposed to be the best tasting turkeys for Thanksgiving. So be glad to be a part of your Thanksgiving. If you're interested in one, you can find us on Facebook. Send me a note, and we can make an appointment and come out and see a turkey. We've got them, and uh, we've got some actual uh, chickens we're going to be doing too. So we've got uh, quite a few different projects this summer. But the... Uh, you can see the, the bed frame part. That's actually a bed rail off a bed I found there, a dumpster. The bed was put together. I just pulled over by the dumpster and tore it all apart and stuck it in the car and brought it home. It was the end of the work day. So free lumber, as much as wood costs now, we, uh, we saved quite a bit of money. It was about an inch and a half, or actually inch and a quarter um, square board at uh, Lowe's. It was a little over $5 a piece, a bundle six uh, was a little over thirty dollars so uh, we made quite a few i mean four per board so we did 20 of those so we saved ourselves some money by doing our own milling and it's much more substantial wood it's not just pine it actually ended up all being poplar and i found red oak boards in the barn too giant six by you know six by two true two by six is in the uh, rafters there that are made out of red oak pretty amazing anyway I'll show you the finished product just here in a moment. All right, here's the finished product. I really appreciate uh, Richard and his wife coming up, and we finished this while they were here. So uh, kind of skipped ahead here. We had to kind of get it just finished up. Uh, there's turkeys in there. There you go, and you can see the yellow installators. There's going to be electrics attached to that as well as they're going to be a large uh, area out there in the front. You can kind of see the wire, uh, the uh, nylon wire that's got aluminum on it. I just took old license plates and I built a door. It's a guillotine door. Boop, up and down there. It doesn't lock, but uh, it's pretty tough to move up and down because it's slick and you have to get inside the electrics to do that. And it's got a little bit of bite, that fence does, believe me. So the perches we put in... Uh, three large perches, one high in the center there, and then we put one low and then one medium right just over there on the left, just above the uh, the, tur or the uh, turkey pullets. And the uh, door to the right has a latch uh, for opening it and closing it on the outside. I've got to make a method to get it out from the inside. 
uh, you can close yourself in there. Uh, but Richard brought that door handle with him, that latch, and he brought the hinges. So very nice. But uh, they've got a much better environment to live in there. But it's a very nice handle, very nice hinges. We just threw a little paint on them and mounted them up. But that's uh, Madison's old bunk from the clubhouse. And it's right here. We put it right by the chicken house. Uh, so we've got some security uh, with the electrics, and it's going to be here for a bit. Then it's going out on pasture when we get back from uh, our touring of uh, Alaska. We're going to go to Alaska not too long from now. And we've got some people coming out to take care of all the critters while we're gone, some really good friends of ours that normally do that for us. And uh, super, super thankful to them ahead of time, really. Uh, that's all leftover metal. That actually came off that old clubhouse building over there. So we did the roof up with that. There's some leftover roofing nails that I found in the barn. But not too terrible of a job. The door pulls open and hangs on that little white knob you see there. And uh, that rope will hold that up. It's just a drawer pull from some old drawer that I found. And I kept it. Um, those feeders, I suspended one. The waterers and the feeders will be suspended uh, all off the ground to try to keep the... Uh, turkeys from getting them dirty because they really don't know the difference and they're uh, they're super cute they puff up and throw their little arms or throw their little wings out and look uh, look pretty neat I'm very proud to have them on the farm and uh, it'll be exciting to have those for a, a Thanksgiving meal later on for ourselves and for whomever might want one of them but uh, we're gonna pasture raise them and make sure they get a good diet and have a good quality of life and there's a, a bit more farming going on, but that cable pulley system is pretty fun. I've done that before. It's just you nails and a rope, and I made that. And We decided to block the center hole with just all license plates, so I attached those two top ones, and I made them the, uh, the upper portion of where the slide comes across. The other four plates have a wooden plate behind that uh, gives it some weight and allows it to uh, hold all those plates together. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Have a great one. We'd love you to like and subscribe. Have a good one.